Greetings, my scattered brothers and sisters in the Lord. I trust you know the Lord is with you wherever you find yourself scattered today, and that you know that his presence with you is more than enough for whatever you might face today. And Paul writes, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, with prayer and thanksgiving, I present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. We'll probably spend a couple of days on this one, um, but I especially want to think about the, the charge to rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord always. I'll say it again. Rejoice. Uh, let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Don't be anxious. But instead, in everything, pray uh, present with thanksgiving. Present your request to God. I think about this in the context of Paul's words to Euodia and Syntyche. So here are these two very important leaders in the church and involved in some type of power struggle that the whole church probably knows about. And Paul is calling them to refocus, to instead of being focused upon themselves or to be instead of being focused upon the other in perhaps his rivalry, he's saying rejoice in the Lord. Put your attention on the Lord and rejoice in the Lord and rejoice in the Lord always. See, when we're rejoicing in the Lord, when our confidence is in Christ, when we are celebrating what God has done for us in Christ, when we're there, then it's hard to get caught up in a rivalry. When we're there, it's hard to be jealous of someone else. When we're there, it's hard to work against somebody. Uh, rejoice in the Lord always. I'll say it again. Uh, we have much to celebrate. And so when our confidence is in Christ, we don't have to boast about ourselves or be worried about somebody else's boasting. Uh, when our confidence is in Christ, we're able to celebrate what God has done for us in Christ. And so that makes it really difficult to celebrate what God has done for us in Christ and have confidence in Christ and at the same time kind of have an attitude towards someone else. Those two things just don't work together. So rejoice in the Lord always and let your gentleness be evident to all and realize that the Lord is near. And so pray, don't be anxious about anything, but pray about everything. And again, I'm thinking about this relationship with Yodia and Sintike and to begin to pray about that relationship to the Lord and to not be anxious or worried about what it might look like if they actually humble themselves what it might look like if they actually rejoice in the Lord and put God first and quit being so worried about holding on to their own, own ground or own status or whatever, um, but that they pray about that and that they give thanks to God and that God will actually give them the peace to work their relationship out. And so as they refocus on the Lord and what they have to celebrate in the Lord and their confidence being in the Lord, they don't really have to boast in themselves and they don't have to boast against each other. Rather, there is grace to humble themselves, to put the rest of the letter into practice and to trust that God will work in that and that they will know the peace of God. So wherever you find yourself scattered today, uh, that's the call to rejoice in the Lord always, to fix our thoughts, our attention upon the Lord, to celebrate uh, what God has done for us in Christ, that our confidence is in Christ. And when we do that, we'll know the peace of God. And we'll be able to not be anxious, but to pray about everything with thanksgiving. So we'll talk more about this next time. Um, but again, wherever you find yourself scattered today, key word, rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord always. He is near. God bless.